Hello, Gavin Hoey here with a great film strip effect. First of all, we need a blank, empty layer. And then with the custom shape tool, we're going to load in a brand new custom shape. It's called Film. Now, you'll get the Append button, and then you'll get two brand new shapes. Double click the last one, and then simply draw it onto the new layer, just like that. So there's our film strip. Let's add some pictures in. I'm going to click the background layer, open Mini Bridge, and select the four images by shift clicking them to make sure I've got all four, and drag them and drop them straight onto the image. But you'll notice you don't actually get four pictures. You actually get them one at a time, just like that. Click the tick, and you get the second picture. So you can load these images one at a time straight into your film strip. Clicking the tick will get the next picture in the sequence. And I can put that in there. And then one more click of the tick should bring the fourth picture in, like that. And we'll add that onto the last bit of the strip. There you go. So there we are. We've made our film strip. Let's see what else we can do. Well, let's go back to the layers and select all the layers that make up the film strip. Press Ctrl or Command E to flatten them, followed by Ctrl or Command J to duplicate them. Because we're going to make a reflection. So let's drag that down underneath, and then we'll go for Edit, Transform, and Flip Vertically. OK, we'll take the opacity of that layer down to about 50%, somewhere around about there. And with the Eraser tool, we'll just quickly take away the base of that layer. Control or Command E to flatten them down, and for one last little touch, we'll go to Edit, Transform, and Warp. We'll change it from Custom to Flag, click the tick, and you're all done. There you go, there it is, Film Strip Effect in Photoshop CS5.